In the previous video, we started mapping the Novation Launchpad to Virtual DJ. In this video, I'll show you how to map some basic commands and how to get some buttons to light up. I will be covering a wide range of topics, so if I go too quick, comment below with any questions or click the annotations on the screen that come up during the video for more information. Right now, I'll be working with the blank mapper file from the last video, which you can also download from this video's description, as well as an updated copy of what we're going to have at the end of this video. Well, of what you'll be able to make at the end of this video. So let's make this green button at the top play the selected deck. I'll explain as I go. Within Virtual DJ, open up the Settings window and go to Mappers. Make sure Novation Launchpad is selected and click New. Then press the green button on your launchpad. With Key Learn selected, Virtual DJ will automatically select Key B T1. We'll have this button either play or pause the deck we have selected. Click OK. And it should now work. Let's have the next button play sync the deck that is selected. So type in play underscore sync. We'll also want to light up the button so we know which one we just mapped. When mapping all 80 buttons on the Novation Launchpad, it'll get pretty confusing if the buttons aren't colored correctly. So search for LED G T2, and for now, just type in on. If done correctly, the second top button on the Novation Launchpad should light up. So now, if you have another deck playing, and you want, let's say, deck 1 to synchronize to deck 2, which is a few BPMs off. We press the, se we pl we press the second button, and they'll automatically be synchronized to one another. Now we don't have any buttons set up to pause or stop the decks that we have playing, so let's do that now. Let's set up this third one to pause or stop the selected deck. Go to New, press the button you wish, type in pause underscore stop, and don't forget to color in the button with an LED. This time I selected LED YT3 to signify that this button either pauses or stops the audio, while these two will play it. Novation Launchpad offers four different LED colors, green, amber, yellow, and red. Use these four colors to your advantage so you know quickly and visually what each button on your launchpad does. So now, we have a button to play, and a button to pause. If you press play pause once again, it'll go back to the beginning of the track or begin to cycle through any cue points you have created. To add a little flair to this current setup, let's have the play pause button blink to the beat. So open up your mappers and in LED GT1, the button in charge of playing or pausing the selected deck, let's type in play question mark which uh, is a conditional statement in VDJ script so if it's playing we want it to acquire the beat grid of virtual DJ so we type in get beat grid but because it's a conditional statement we need an option for if the deck isn't playing for now we'll just have it set to on which lights up the button once more so now if we press play which will play track 2 The button will blink to the track's tempo. This may sound off, but if we horribly speed up Deck 2's tempo, the button blink speed will increase as well. Now it's blinking at 178 beats per minute instead of 200, uh, instead of 123. Now it's back to normal. When we pause the track, it stops blinking. You've now linked three buttons on your launch pad to Virtual DJ. We have play, pause, play, synchronize, and we also have pause or stop. 
Look in this video's description for the mapper file we've created, the blank mapper file, uh, as well as subcycles mapper file. This is what we'll eventually work up to. All 80 buttons in use. Don't forget to check out the related video section.